In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover some deleted data. So let's get right into it. Long story short, the other day I was talking to one of my friends who accidentally formatted his hard drive. My point is, this happens to a lot of people. According to Google AI, who generated this image for me, it happens to about 70% of Americans. So naturally, when mini tool power data recovery reached out, and asking if I can put their software to the test, I said, bring it on. To be clear, I'm not being paid for this. I'm only testing the software and will tell you my honest opinion. So let's get right into it. To start, we need to download the software from their website, which I will leave a link in the description as always. Uh, under the download button, you can see here, there is a free edition. So there is a free version of the software. Also, there is a free trial for their like a premium uh, version of the software. So go ahead and do the download and then do the installation and let's go ahead and take a look on how it works. Now we've completed the installation, uh, let's do a quick tour of the mini tool power data recovery. The version I'm using is version 12.4 and this is the main tab here which says this PC. You can see under logical devices, it shows me all the hard drive partitions I have which I can look for missing or deleted data in. If I flip to the devices tab, it show me my actual hard drive which is my computer hard drive and also this is a thumbstick that i plugged in which i will use for testing here in a little bit um, there is also recover from a specific location under here which you can target a specific location like the desktop the recycle bin or select a specific folder uh, if we go under utilities utilities these are another uh, software so this is the power data recovery bootable so this is the bootable version of that same software uh, this is good if you have a crashed or missing operating system this is just another software the mini tool system booster if you want to try that feel free to do so uh, let's go ahead and look at the scan setting really quick uh, the first scan settings is to show re uh, search result during scan I like to keep this one checked because I can see the result as it's working. I don't have to wait to the end to see the final result. And these are just the hard drive or the following file system. So basically the hard drive file format that you wanna search for. You can see the very common one is the FAT32 or the NTFS. Uh, you can uncheck one or check the other if needed, depends on what you're looking for. Um, let me just close this tab and actually go back here. But also let's take a look here at the top. We have the key where you can upgrade your uh, software if you want to like the premium version. This is the notification section. This is to launch the bootable version of the software. And this is just the support. Under the hamburger menu, you have some settings like the language, the online help or data backup. And then there's like an about and feedback you can send. So this is a quick overview. Now I have this a thumbstick, which let's go ahead and put some files on it. Then we will format and then see if the software can still find them. Now it's time to put it to the test. So you can see here, I have this ADATA USB flash drive, which is the same USB drive here on my PC. Let me actually make this bigger so you can see. This is the thumb drive I have. I'm gonna use it for testing. I already have two pictures in here. You can see picture one, picture two, and I have a PDF and a Word document loaded on the thumb drive. Now I'm gonna right click and format. Let me bring this window here. I'm gonna leave the default settings for now, but one thing I wanna mention that if you ever format a thumb drive or a hard disk accidentally, or if you delete some files, make sure to not do anything and immediately use the recovery software. That is the best chance you have. If you override it with other data or like format again, or if you do like a long format, that will reduce your chances of recovering those data. So I would recommend to immediately without doing anything else to use the software right away. That is the best chance you have. And this probably applies to all data recovery software. Now let's go ahead and click start. This tells me like it's going to erase everything and then everything will be deleted. Format completed. I'm going to click OK and close this window. As you can see, if I go here, there is nothing inside. All the files has been uh, deleted, which is the two images and the PDF and the Word doc. So if I go back, this is my thumb drive and you can see it is empty. The only thing left here is to hit scan on this USB drive. So let's go ahead and do that. The software is already working 
and here is going to show my result because we did check the box that we want to see the result as it's working and we don't have to wait for it to reach 100%. You can see it's at 1% and already found my four files. That is very impressive. Once again, I'm not being paid to say anything. I'm just testing the software and will tell you my honest opinion. So, so far it looks like it's working. And uh, like I said, uh, this is the status here. So you can see there's four files found. The remaining time is estimated to be 16 minutes. And it says here for the best recovery result, please wait until full scan is finished. So basically it's recommended that you wait until 100%. However, for the demo for this video purpose, I don't think I'm gonna need to wait until 100%. Obviously, if you are recovering real files and you do not know how many files you have, or you're not, you're not sure that you got all your files, it is recommended to wait until 100%. So um, one other feature I wanna show you here is the preview. So if I choose one of those images, I can select the image and you can see here, I can preview that image while it is still working. So I don't have to even do the full scan. I don't have to wait for that. I can still see the images that it is finding right here. Um, so this is the other image. I can select it and you can see it already show me my image right here. Uh, this is pretty good actually and very fast. Uh, so I'm very impressed and I can pause it from here so I don't have to uh, keep it going. I can also stop it. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop it and I'm going to click yes. Once again, I recommend you wait until 100%. I just don't want this video to get too long and I already got my files. So let me go ahead and check this. And you can see these are my four files, the two pictures, the Adobe PDF and the Office Word doc. So it even tells you the file type. I'm going to click save here. And under the documents, I have this folder called text passion, I'm going to choose that. It is recommended that you save the files in another drive different than the file or the drive that you are scanning. So we're going to do that. Click OK. My files are saved. Let's go ahead and view the files. This is the folder where I saved the recovered files. So you can see I have lost files folder. Within that, we have raw files. Within that, we have four folders. It looks like one for each file, or I'm not sure if there's some separation based on the file type. Either way, I'll be happy with it. I think this is my PDF, so let's open this. And yep, this is my PDF file, so pretty good. Let's go back here and look at the image. This is the picture, so that's the first picture. And then there is one more picture. Since one it's working, I'm assuming the other one is going to work. Again, I don't want the video to get very long for you. So I'm going to skip this other picture. Let me test the Word document and make sure that got recovered correctly. So this is the Word document. It's loading. Uh, I believe this is also going to work just fine. So yeah, I'm very impressed, honestly. I think this is working. Now, keep in mind, this was a soft format. So I assume if you do a hard format or if like you override the files, it's not going to work in every scenario. So it's not guaranteed that it's always going to recover your files. But honestly, I'm very happy with it. And I think the software works from what I can see. Uh, My overall thoughts... The software is simple, easy to use, and it works from what I can see. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description if you want to try it out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video and if you find it helpful, please consider like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.